As a BIM manager, I feel my duty is to constantly find ways to improve the workflow. Since everyone is spending most of their time in Revit, I think that time should be spent on meaningful things instead of just doing the donkey work. We make use of some great plugins to help us, and I'm also developing our own tab of tools using PyRevit. Having custom tools for the specifics of our work is a great improvement, even when those tools are relatively simple, because they are made to solve a particular problem that we have, and to save us time. So here, I would like to show you some of the tools. The first thing I would like to show is our tab for detail groups. We use a lot of model groups in the projects, and we use attached detail groups, which are great for placing annotation in multiple views on exactly the same spots. And by editing the attached detail groups, you're changing the appearance on all those views. However, they do have a few downsides. You can't copy them from view to view. Uh, you have to go in each view, select the model group and click on the attached detail groups button. And then you can select which attached detail groups uh, you want to show in this view. However, with the tools that I made, this is a lot more efficient now. So I have this big button here that says update multiple. And how it works is I can have a selection in my browser, or if I don't have a selection, it will just uh, ask me to select views. And when I click on this update multiple, uh, the first thing uh, the script asks me is if uh, I want to use these 18 views that I have selected, and I'm going to click yes. And now you can see that uh, Revit is collecting uh, all the model groups that are shown on these views. So you can see this bar here is loading. Then I'm asked to select which groups, which model groups I want to be using. And this is really handy because um, I, I might be interested in filtering only the apartment groups, which I now have this LGH in the name, or maybe I'm only interested in the balcony groups. Or maybe I'm only interested in some of the other groups. So I'm going to choose the apartment groups here, and I'm going to select them. And then I get this window here, which uh, is showing me the apartment groups by view. These here are the views that I have selected in the browser. And here I can see which attached detail groups are actually shown for each group. So here I can inspect them, I can see that they are all right, or I can actually go ahead and change them, because these here are all right. Let's go down there. Okay, here on plan 12, I don't really have those. So I know that in these views, I want to have those three and I can go and inspect all the views like this. And when I'm finished, I just click here on update selected detail groups. And uh, the program is going to go and update um, those attached detail groups in all those views. And when I'm done, I can just close this window. So the update multiple is a nice and versatile tool that works for all kinds of different views and the groups that might be inside them. However, we often have uh, different views which have exactly the same groups inside. Like, for example, a floor plan which is the same at one level and the levels above or maybe a floor plan, which is the same in one 
part of the building and the other one or apartments or whatever so that's why a really nice tool is the copy from active view and i'm going to copy from this view but this view currently doesn't really have detailing so i'm going to first click on the updating current which is like the simplified version of the update multiple and when i clicked it you see that uh, it didn't really show me anything and the reason why is that i didn't have clicked inside the view i, I had clicked inside the browser somewhere so i didn't have a current view selected so when i click here updating current i can see all the groups in uh, this current view and since there are like uh, fewer of them I, um, I can just select all of them except that one because I don't need that one and I can just apply all of these the balconies have like just one group like so okay see how quickly it is compared to going to each one of them okay and now I just click on update selected detail groups and Revit is going to think about it and update them All right, so now we have them updated here. And this view is suddenly fully detailed. However, the other views above it are not, and they have the same groups. So what I can do is click on copy from active view, and I can select uh, all of them. And then I can select uh, the views above or even the views in other parts of the project. And uh, I can actually filter by the um, name of that we, we see here in the project browser. So here are the views. that I want to apply those detail groups to and I have them selected and I can just click on select views and Revit starts updating the groups so now when I go to these views they are all detailed apparently here is the roof plan so we don't have these there but that's fine so that is pretty much the detail group section of our custom tab. So that is pretty much the detail group section of our custom tab here.